everyone welcome back um today i just wanted to hop on here and do a quick haul video for you guys and show you some of my recent purchases in the past couple of days slash weeks um so you, if you're interested in this video do stay tuned and yeah i'll go ahead and dive right into the haul and just for full disclosure i do currently work for coach as an essay however all the bags on my channel are for my own personal collection and i'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you like handbags and stuff, um, do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more um, handbag related content. Okay, so the first bag I want to talk about is actually a purchase from The Real Real. And um, this is like not sponsored for them like at all. It's just me as like a normal human shopping on their site. Um, but it is a bag that I have been stocking like forever for like about a year now on like the pre-loved market. And um, I can't believe I found one and it is a Rogue bag. And it is this one right here, which is the Rogue like 31 size in this really cool patchwork print from the fall 2016 collection and it's just like a really pretty bag um it's just like every other standard like rogue satchel that has like the top handles and um, like three compartments on the inside but this one is really cool because it is a patchwork style so there are different like colorful like patches of leather suede that are combined together and to make this one bag and the thing that I like really loved about this bag too, and specifically this patchwork rogue, is the fact that it um, has like brass hardware on it. Um, not a lot of the rogue bags have brass hardware, especially when it comes to like the larger sizes. I feel like most of the time, the rogue, when it comes to like this size, is either like in a solid color or it has um, like the gunmetal hardware too. So this one I thought was pretty cool because it is like a larger size rogue with like different colors on it and um, has a brass hardware as well. Um, but the bag itself did come with like all the attachments and stuff. So it has a little clochette, the hang tag, and also the extra shoulder straps too. Um, they're just inside of the bag. And then on the bottom also has cool little feet as well with the um, embossing there in the middle. On the inside of the bag you can see that it is, you know, just like a regular rogue bag that has the three compartments and each side here is lined in this really bright orange suede and then underneath each panel too you can see that um there are like different stitches and stuff and that is basically like how the patches are like constructed so that's pretty cool and it's on the other side as well and then before i move on to like the other bags in this haul um i just want to say something about the real real is that um, the website works in very magical ways. I feel like it's kind of weird. Um, you kind of have to like mildly forget about the bag that you're looking for and the bag magically appears. Um, they always get stuff there. I feel like every day, like if you refresh the site, like every afternoon, I feel like there's something that pops up, whether it be like ready to wear shoes or bags, it's always like something new from like whatever brand you're looking for. Um, but if you're like actively looking for something very hardcore, I feel like you never find it. Um, so you kind of have to just like forget about it a little bit and then like some random Thursday afternoon, you'll find the bag you're looking for. So that's just like my little like tip about um, the real real is that you kind of have to forget about it and then boom, it just magically appears like a day or two later. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so the next bag is this one right here, which is the Kip crossbody bag. And I have it in um, the color black with brass hardware. And it's really cute because it kind of looks like a shrunken down version of um, the Cassie bag or like the vintage coach court bag. Um, it's super cute and little. It has that built-in top handle on the top of that. And then it has a little slip pocket here as well in the back. And then the bag itself is a flap style closure. Um, and it has one large compartment on the inside lined in that fabric material. And it even has the genuine gloved hand leather stamp too on the bottom. And since this bag is a part of the Coach um, Originals collection, it has a little hang tag here that says Coach Leatherwear on the front and the back. And then on the inside too, it actually has a little 1941 stamp on the inside corner right there with the cowhide stamp as well. I don't know if you're able to see it that well because it is a pretty tight pocket, um, but it has the two stamps right there. 
And then when it comes to this little bag, I have not used this yet, so I don't know like how much it can truly fit. Um, but playing around with it at home, I feel like it does fit a good amount of stuff. And the nice thing is that this bag is a little bit taller than compared to smaller crossbody bags. So you can't fit your SLGs in vertically. And I feel like when you have things like standing up, it saves a lot of space, I feel like. So there's that. Um, and I am planning on also getting this bag customized as well with some coach, um, little like coach crate pins and also some rivets as well. So yeah, I'll keep you posted once I get this bag bedazzled, but there's that. So the next bag is going to be this one right here, which is the Field Tote 40 in this really pretty um, like canvas denim material. And it is in the color Ocean Multi. So it is different shades of blue and gray um, that are combined together. And it has like this vertical stripe detailing. And I don't know, it just looks super pretty. It has leather accent trims on the top and the base is completely leather. And it has four little feet on the bottom and just like any of the larger field tote styles it has the two short top handles that you can use to carry in the crook of your arm or held as a top handle and then the longer adjustable um nylon web strap as well and then this one is kind of cool um because instead of brass hardware this one has the gunmetal hardware um, and I think like past field totes have like had the gunmetal hardware but um this is my first time with one, so I thought it was pretty different. So yeah, there's that. And on the inside of the bag, it is just one large open compartment like so. And it is lined in a really deep navy color. You get one back zip pocket like so. And then the cool thing too is that you do get a little D-ring on the side. So if you have like any um, pouches or wristlets, you can actually attach it on this little D-ring like that. Um, but other than that, it is a pretty um, simple layout on the interior. And then you do have a little magnetic closure on top as well that is pretty strong so yeah and i feel like the only reason why i bought this bag is just because i really liked the all leather version of the field tote 40 so i thought this would be a really fun material to get um this tote and like this really thick canvas material and i also love all the different color stripes too on the front like this is a really fun bag so yeah there's that Okay, so next bag is going to be the complete opposite of the Field Tote 40, and it is the Field Tote um, 22. So this is the smallest Field Tote style in, like, the Field Tote family. Um, so it's this really cute little um, tote that is in a, like, north-south silhouette, so it goes up and down. And it is just like any other Field Tote bag. It has the cute little two top handles, the web cross by strap, and then the large interior section here that is lined in microfiber. And this one too also does have a little um, zip pocket in the back with a story patch as well. And just like any of the other leather field toe options, it does have the word coach leather wear embossed in the front like so. And I believe the color that they used is probably ivory just because there is that slight contrast between the chalk background and the text itself. So I'm going to assume that they use the color ivory um, to highlight the text on the bag. And then there is also four feet at the bottom as well and then the leather base as well. And then when it comes to this field toe, I have used it a couple of times already and I do like it a lot. Um, I would say the biggest thing that I really like about this bag is that it is just one large open compartment. So um, you can put like everything you need here and like stuff as well. And I feel like for how small this bag is, you fit a lot of stuff I feel like. And I also love the web strap too. I like that they kept the fabric strap for the smaller options because I feel like Coach could have probably just done like the leather option. Um, strap but I don't know I just like the little web strap that this bag comes with and I love that it has like the two-tone as well the black and the saddle color together so super cute um, but yeah I will do a review on this bag for sure and I also will do a comparison video with um, the regular field tote as well so there's that and then last is the bag that I've been really excited for and I've been using so much is this little guy right here this is the Pillow Tabby 18 in the color Pale Lime. So it's this really pretty light green color. And it's just like any other um, tabby bag, um, or pillow tabby bag, I should say, is that it has the little um, leather top handle like so that you can use as um, 
like the shoulder bag or handheld and a removable and adjustable crossbody strap as well. And this one is pretty cool because it is in the pale green color. They paired it actually with silver hardware. So this is the only pillow tabby bag that has silver hardware in the whole range. The inside of the bag is pretty standard like any other pillow tabby bag. Um, it has two compartments like so. I have a receipt in here because I already used the bag, a little slip pocket in the back, and then a front section as well. It has a little divider in the middle here, but it is non-functional, so it's just like a leather barrier between the two compartments, and then it doesn't have a back pocket either. Um, but as you can see, it is so stinking cute and adorable, and it is like the most precious little thing ever. And if you were curious about like the size difference, um, here are the two bags next to each other. So this is the original pillow tabby in the color green and the pale green color that is going to come out soon. So here they are next to each other. And then here is a side profile look. So yeah, it is significantly smaller and it is um, equally as adorable as the original. So cute, right? Ah, it is so cute. And just like the Field Tote 22 as well, I will be doing a review on this little pillow tabby and also doing a comparison video against the larger pillow tabby as well. So I'll try and get that out um, near the end of this week. If not, I will try and get that out um, next week. So yeah. So that does it for today's video over on my recent purchases. If you guys have any questions about the bags I showed here or like anything in general, just leave a comment down below and I can try to reply back to you as soon as possible. Or you can also message me on Instagram too and I can reply back to you that way as well. Um, but if you guys like these kind of videos, do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more um, handbag related content. So yeah. Um, other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye. I definitely just popped my elbow there, but <laughs> bye. Ow.